Hi guys and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to apply a grayscale image filter on images. So you will get the grayscale image version of the original one. So I'll create a new Java project and I'll call it image filter. Okay. And I'll create a new package, call it TMG. And inside of this package, I'll create a class and I'll call it gray scale. Okay. So first, I need to import color, buffered image, file, IO exception, iterator, image IO, image reader, and image input stream. Now, I'll need to create a method for creating a grayscale image. So it will be public, static, void, and I'll call it to gray scale. Okay. And this method is going to have two parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the input file. So that is the original image. And the second parameter is the output file or the grayscaled image. Now inside of our method, I'll write the try catch block. And we want to catch the IO exception. And if we catch it, we'll just print, print stack trace and that's it. Now in our try block, we need image input stream and we will call it IIS and we'll get this image input stream by calling the method create image input stream on the image IO and as a parameter we'll pass the input file. Okay, now after this we need an iterator and we'll iterate the image reader and we'll call it iterator and to get this iterator we need to call the image IO and the get image readers method and the parameter is going to be the image input stream. Now after this we need the image reader object and we'll call it reader and we'll get it by calling the next method on the iterator. So iterator.next and now we'll get the image format so string image format is reader dot get format name and now we get the image format. Now we need to create the buffered image from the original input file or the original image so buffered image and we'll call it image and we'll get it by calling the read method on the image out input output and we'll read the image input stream that will be automatically closed after this read method is called. Okay, now we need the width and the height of this image. So width is equal to image dot get width and integer height is image dot get height. And now we need again uh, nested for loops so for integer y is equal to 0 and y is lesser than image height and uh, y will each time increase by 1 now we need again another for loop so integer x is 0 x is lesser than the width of the image and x plus plus to increase every time. Okay, now we need to get the color uh, on the specified location from this image. So we'll write color, color is a new color and we'll get the, the color from the pixels on the x and y coordinates so we need to call the image dot get rgb on the coordinates of x and y now 
we need to transform this color into some shade of gray so we could get the grayscale image. So in order to do so, we first need to get the red color from this color. So and we need uh, we need to cast to the end first and we'll call the color dot get red and we need to multiply this by 0 0.2126 so this is actually the percentage of the red that will be in the shade of gray that we're going to create that is actually 21 percent or 0 0.2126 because this is the integers now we need the uh, green and the process is the same we can copy this and instead of get red we'll write get green and the number is 7152 okay so it makes 71 percent of the shade of gray this green color and the last one is the blue and we can paste this here and call the get blue and the blue is uh, has the least percent of the color in this shade of uh, gray so we'll call it is actually a 7% i think so 0 0.0722 okay now we need to sum these uh, colors so integer sum is equal to red pla plus green plus blue and we need to create a new color so color and let's call it shade of gray is equal to new color and we'll pass the sum as the red, green, and the blue. Okay. Now we need to call the image and set RGB method. And we want to set the RGB on the X and Y coordinates. And calling shade of gray dot get RGB. And after this for loop we need to write this image so image io write and we'll write the image the format name is already here and we can copy this and paste it here and the output file is the output file from the parameter and that's it so this is the method for creating grayscale image now in order to test this on my desktop I have this image so as you can see java.jpg and it is colored image and I'll need a location of this image so I'll go to properties and copy the location and here I'm going to create a new class and I'll call it test and we will have the main method in this class now in our main method I'm going to create a file from this image but first I need to import java.io.file and here I'm going to create a file object so file input is new file and I'll paste the location of this image and add the name of the image so java.jpg okay so this is the input image and now I can copy this and create the output image and I'll call it the grayscale.jpg okay now all I have to do is to call the grayscale dot to grayscale and pass the input and output files as the parameters and let's just print something out when this is finished so system out print line and uh, let's print something like completed 
okay now I can right click on this test class go to run as and choose the Java application and we see the completed message and now we have the grayscale image on our desktop so this is the grayscale and this is the colored the original image okay so thanks guys for watching and uh, see you soon in the next tutorial bye for now